Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Pompberry, and I don't always look like this. <laughs> but today, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove heavy makeup. I always get asked how I remove my makeup, and I thought today would be the perfect occasion to show you guys. So today, we're headed actually to my bathroom so I can show you the entire process. But before we begin, I just wanna give a huge thank you to Herbivore for sponsoring part of this video. I'm gonna tell you more about them in just a second, but first, I gotta lose my horns, my hat, my wig, and all that, and bring you over to the bathroom. Okay, so I got my wig off but I'm going to keep my wig cap on because it holds all my hair back and out of my face. Now it's time to take off my lashes and always when you take off lashes you want to be very careful that you're not pulling out your own lashes so just tug them off gently. If you feel your lashes stuck to the fake ones, go in with a little bit of makeup remover with a little Q-tip and work your lashes out of the fake ones. You shouldn't just yank them off, otherwise you may lose a few lashes. Now, before I start taking anything off, if I'm wearing gloss, I just like to take the excess off with a little bit of toilet paper. If I'm wearing a matte lipstick, I don't really bother doing this, but I just don't like the feeling of gloss getting all over my face, so I just like to remove that real quick before I start the actual removal process. Now, the main key to taking off your makeup, it doesn't matter if it's really heavy makeup like this or it's day-to-day -day makeup, is double cleansing. I'm sure you've heard of this before, but it is an absolutely essential step for taking off your makeup properly. You can't just use a cleanser and expect that to take away all your makeup. You need an oil to break and melt everything down. The oil that I like to use is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. I've gone through a few of these. I'm gonna use two pumps. So one, two, and then spread it in my hands and then I go straight in. And I do this all over my face. And I really work it into my eyelashes to get all the mascara out. That's a really important part to really melt all of that. Really work it in. Kind of take this time to massage your face. And what this is gonna do is it's going to melt all the makeup. So even makeup that's like smudge proof, like matte lipsticks or things like that, they will be broken down with oil. It doesn't matter what makeup it is. It's going to break down with oil. So this guarantees that you're able to remove all of it. I can feel I have some stuff in my brow still, so I'm just gonna work that in very gently. And then now, I'm going to rinse the excess that's on my hands. So I'm gonna get real close right now. Now you're gonna take a little bit of water into your hands and then you're going to continue massaging your face. And the water is going to start breaking everything down because this product isn't like putting say like coconut oil on your face water and oil don't mesh so if you put coconut oil on your face and then you try to wash it with water it's not going to come off but this product will and so with water you'll be able to start taking it off of your face so you'll see that the makeup is just melting and coming right off and so I'm just going to rinse my face. I wish I could show you, but the sink is down here. Okay, so all I did was rinse it with water and you'll see that most of it is gone. There's obviously still some, especially around the perimeter of my face. I need to get that a little bit better. That was just my own fault. And I've got lipstick on my forehead now for some reason. <laughs> now I'm gonna move on to the second step of the double cleansing process, and that's using a cleanser. And today I'm gonna be using the Emerald Cleansing Soap Bar by Herbivore Botanicals, who is our sponsor today. And I know this is a soap bar, but it is gentle enough for the face. I'm going to start just sudsing that all over while I talk a little bit about them. Basically, Herbivore is an all-natural skincare brand. They make their products using all-natural ingredients without any fillers, any synthetic ingredients, no animal testing. They are cruelty-free, and they make all their products look and feel really luxurious because they believe that your daily ritual of cleansing your face and doing your skincare should be something really enjoyable and just be me time. And honestly, their products are some of the prettiest I've ever seen. Okay, now I'm just going to rinse this off. Now I'm just going to pat my face dry. 
And you'll have seen just how pretty their products are if you follow me either on Instagram or TikTok. I did a little video showcasing some of their products and just how freaking gorgeous they are. And if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> now you'll see that my makeup is completely gone with two very easy, very simple steps, but I still have some stuff around the eyes. Obviously I don't use that soap on my eye area. So I'll usually do one of two things. I'll either use the Kinship Naked Papaya Cleanser. This one is safe for the eye areas and I'm able to clean everything out. Or I take a little makeup eraser, which if you don't know this, this is a reusable microfiber cloth that is like a cotton pad substitute. And I like to take a little bit of makeup remover on here, just some micellar cleansing water, and then I go in and I get rid of anything that's around my eye area. Any little bit of mascara that's left, any bit of liner. And then I'll also use this like around my hairline. If I haven't gotten everything like out of my hair, I'll just go ahead and do this. If I'm not gonna jump in the shower to really clean this all off. Now if I had just removed my normal day-to-day -day makeup, I would probably move on to moisturizing my skin and all of that. But when I do heavy makeup like this, I like to apply a face mask if I have the time. And today I do. So I'm gonna be using the Herbivore Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. And it smells so good. That's the other thing about their products is that they smell so like, I can't even explain how good they smell, especially the lapis oil, which I will be showing you in a second. I'm obsessed with that scent. I don't know what the scent is. I can't identify it, but I love it. And I'm going to apply this all over. It's got the little scoop. It says that you can leave it on for 20 minutes, but if you have sensitive skin, you should leave it on for five or 10. My skin's a little sensitive right now because of the cold. It's a little bit drier than normal and a little bit more sensitive. So we'll see how it feels. I'm just going to spread this all over my skin. And I like having a variety of masks on hand depending on how my skin is feeling that week. I know it can be overwhelming knowing kind of like what to get because masks to me act like a bonus in your skincare if you have a specific skin concern that week. So if you're overwhelmed with the amount of choices out there and you don't know what to get, I would recommend getting a clarifying mask for when your skin really needs some deep cleansing, a deep moisturizing mask for those really, really dry seasons, and also a soothing calming mask. So those are my three go to. Today I'm doing a cleansing mask because of all the heavy makeup and let's read about this one shall we? This one says a truly natural mask that gently deep cleans pores with fruit enzymes, white willow bark, aloe, and moisturizing blue tansy essential oil for skin that feels energized and refreshed. So yeah that's perfect for what I need right now. Other masks that I personally really really like are the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. This one is more for like general quote unquote maintenance. Vitamin C helps with brightening dark spots, things like that. It helps with the skin cell turnover without being too harsh. And then when my skin is really, really going through it and I just need to pump it with tons of moisture, I like to use the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Infusion de Rose Moisturizing Glow Mask. This is like a really thick, heavy cream that you put on and you let it sit for a while and then you just wipe off the excess and you leave kind of a layer of it on the skin. This is really good for when my skin is like super dry and chapped. And if you're a little more knowledgeable in your skincare, if you already have kind of your basics and you wanna branch out into actives, I personally love actives. The actives I use are retinol and AHAs. I love me some AHAs. And so if you're looking for something like that, Herbivore also has a mask that's the Prism 20% AHA plus 5% BHA mask. And this is so pretty. <laughs> like it's like a gel, but it just looks I don't know, I can't even explain, look at that. It's like a rainbow magic goodness, I don't even know. And it's falling out because I'm clumsy. And this mask is kind of like their heavy duty AHA treatment. They also offer an AHA and BHA serum, which is great for daily use. And I'm actually gonna be using this today. But all right, I think it's been about five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off. Okay, so I've washed the mask off and now I'm just going to very gently just 
That's it, just lightly dab the excess water off my face. Because the trick to getting your moisturizer to really absorb into your skin is to apply it with a wet face. But first I'm gonna go in with the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. And this is just kind of like an extra layer of moisture before my moisturizer. And I normally, honestly, I don't really like face mists. I can never find one that I like. I know certain face mists that people rave about, like the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. I have it. It doesn't really do anything for my skin. It definitely leaves a very pretty finish to the skin, so sometimes I'll use it over makeup. But I don't know. I just... I just don't have the habit of using face mists. And this one I really, really like. I'm not just saying this because they're sponsoring this video. I actually do like this before my moisturizer. So I'm just gonna spritz it one more time just because just I've been talking too much and it's sunken into the skin. But now, because my skin has been dry, I told you, it's going through it right now. Before my moisturizer, I've been going in with the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. This is literally snail slime, like quite literally. But I found this to really, really help my skin in the really dry seasons. I use two little pumps. Oh, and the brand is Cause RX. I believe it's a Korean brand, I could be wrong. So I do that, and right now is when I go in with my serums. A lot of people ask me like, what order do you do skincare in? And it's always the lightest texture to the heaviest texture. So you saw I did liquid first, then a sort of gel, and then you can move on into your serums. So. I'm gonna go in with the Prism Serum by Herbivore. As I said, I love my actives, and depending on the night, I'll either use an acid or a retinol. There's two different retinols I like to use. My main one is the A313 ointment. This is a French product, and this is seriously life-changing. That's all I gotta say about it. If you guys want me to do an in-depth video about how I cleared my acne, because my face used to look like this. So let me know if you guys wanna see that and I'll teach you the importance of this guy. And when I don't do that, when I need something a little more gentler, I'll use the different gel. And then when I'm not using retinol, I am using an acid. And lately it's been the Herbivore Prism Serum. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple drops and I'm gonna concentrate this on the areas I need it most. I don't like applying actives close to my nose. I've found that when I do, this area becomes really, really sensitive and really, really thin, and the skin in this area ends up hurting. So I'm not applying any right here, just because of my personal sensitivities. So I like to apply on my cheeks and forehead. And once that's on, this is the stage where you can kind of just like pack on the serums. Just try to make sure that they don't clash with each other. I'm gonna go in with the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I'm just gonna use that again in the same areas. And then I should have done this maybe before the serums, I don't know. But I'm gonna go in with an eye cream and my favorite eye cream of all time, seriously of all time, is the Belief Peat Miracle Revital Eye Cream. And it's just the texture for me that makes this cream so great. I just take some out with my nail, put a little dot there, a little dot there. And my eyes actually are pretty sensitive to makeup. Whenever I wear makeup for a long time or I do something that's just like really heavy, if I wear like fake lashes for too long, the next day I'll wake up with puffy eyes. And so I like eye creams that are really, really heavy and emollient. And this one just does it for me. And it doesn't feel too thick. It doesn't kind of like stay heavy on the skin, but I feel that it's really rich and really working. The skin around my eyes feels so much better when I do. I don't always do it because I forget, but when I do, this is, this is my go-to. Now it's time for moisturizer and my skin should be wet, but still a little tacky from the serums. And as I said, because my skin is a little sensitive right now, a little bit dry, I've been using the Kate Somerville Delicate Recovery Cream and I am almost at the end, but this stuff has been great. It's very thick, but it's not heavy on the skin. So I actually have combination skin. My skin is combination 
leaning towards dry and that's mainly because of all the actives that I use. The retinol definitely makes my skin peel and have little patches of peeling skin. So my skin tends dry but it does get oily in the forehead and right here. So I have combination and it's also acne prone. So finding stuff that works for my skin is kind of a nightmare because I have a little bit of everything going on in my face. I've got dry patches, I've got oily patches, I've got acne. It's, it's you know, everything. And then luckily I don't go out in the sun so I don't have to worry about sunspots just yet. But it's kind of really hard finding stuff that works for me because sometimes if a moisturizer or something is rich enough for my dry patches, it'll be too rich for my oily areas. And this one isn't so I've been really loving it. And after I've put on my moisturizer, if I have some extra time to spare, one thing that I like to do is I like to go in with a little jade roller and just, oh, that feels so good. <laughs> it's like instantly, it feels so good. And I just like to go in and just massage my face a little. I like to use it especially around my eyes. I'll use this in the morning rather than at night. As I said, sometimes I wake up with really puffy eyes. And so this just helps to depuff. And the size is really great to just go around the eye socket. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> And facial massages actually really, really help with collagen stimulation and things like that. So I don't know if you've noticed, but usually when I apply any sort of product on my face, I try to use upwards motions. And so like on my forehead, I'll do this. Under here, I'll go like that and just kind of like work it in and always up because that's a form of facial massage and it just really, really helps. If you don't believe me, all you gotta do is look at my mom. Her skin is freaking perfect. And she does not wear makeup, but she does her skincare routine religiously. And she's always applied it massaging her face and she looks freaking amazing. So that's what I'm aspiring to, is to have my mom's skin when I'm older. <laughs> but this is just a nice little tool that I like to use, especially in the morning to depuff. But it also feels nice at night after a long day. Oh, who doesn't love a little facial massage? Now for the last touch, because my skin gets so dry, comes my favorite product from the Herbivore collection that I've tried out so far, and it is the Lapis Facial Oil. This oil is specifically great for people with acne prone skin, and I could seriously bathe in this. I don't know what the scent is, but it smells amazing. Like, I can't identify it. All I know is that I want to pour it all over my body. <laughs> and look at this color. Like, can you see how pretty that blue is? And their dosage that they recommend is like five to 10 drops. That's a little too much for my skin. I find that all I need is like two drops, which is great because then it'll last me a long time. And so I'm just going to take one, two, Okay, maybe three drops and just rub it on the tips of my fingers and then I just apply it on my dry areas. And so that's around my chin and my cheeks. I don't generally apply oils on my forehead. Sometimes I'll just do very lightly, but I like to press this in. And then I'll also do my neck with this. I know I'm wearing a turtleneck, so that doesn't really help but I'll also do my neck, which is really important. Okay, I know that today I had the turtleneck, but whenever I'm applying stuff to my face, whenever there's some excess on my hands, I'll just do my neck. And again, with the massage, you wanna go like this. Using the roller on your neck is great as well. And I'll just kind of work this in. And with the oil on especially, it's really easy to massage your skin and massage your face. And it feels so good. I know that you're probably thinking like, oh, I don't have time to do that. But you don't necessarily have to have extra time to massage the products into your face. Instead of just like rubbing it on, you can literally just massage it on. And it doesn't take up any extra time and it feels so good. It's like you're pampering yourself. And that's kind of what I love about my skincare routine. It's something that I do every day and it's just a little bit of me time that I can take to just pamper myself a little bit. I also, when I'm using products like these that smell really good, I like to take them in my hand and just take a deep breath. Close my hands around my nose and take a deep breath. And that acts kind of like a little bit of an aromatherapy not a session, but you know what I mean. Mm. And I just do that 
between the deep breaths, I just massage the products into my skin and then that's it, that's it. No, that's almost it. Can't forget your lips. And my favorite lip mask of all time is the Tatcha Kisu lip mask. This stuff is the bomb. Dot com and it was limited edition but they brought it back I don't know if they brought it back as part of their permanent collection or if it's still limited if it's limited edition and you see it on sale run and get it because I swear to god like I don't like wearing lip balms because I don't like that kind of sticky feeling that they sometimes have and other lip masks do too this one it doesn't feel sticky it just it feels almost like an oil without being an oil. I don't know how to explain it, but I also apply it around the lips to make sure this whole area is treated. And then whatever excess I have on my finger, I'll use it on my cuticles. So that's a little trick. Nothing goes to waste. <laughs> so whenever I have excess from my face, I use it on my neck. If I have an excess product that's like a thick consistency, like a lip mask, I'll use it on my cuticles. Nothing goes to waste. If I use a sheet mask on my face and there's tons of like serum left in the packet, I dump it out into my hand and use it on my arms. Guys, skincare sometimes isn't cheap. You can't let it go to waste. And speaking of all of that, I totally forgot to mention, if you would like to purchase any herbivore products, I actually have a discount code with them this month only. It's Palmberry25, you'll get 25% off. So be sure to check them out. I'm gonna leave everything linked down below as always. And now, do I finally get to take off my little wig cap? I don't know if I should though, because my hair is <laughs> probably not in the best condition right now. It has been under that wig cap all day. Oh, that feels good. Okay, I don't know what to do with this hair. It's It's been a long day. You can't expect me to look good after wearing a wig cap. Okay, I got a little overexcited. I almost forgot about my acne treatment. So when I have a little spot here or there, I like to go in with the Kinship Pimple Potion. I'll either use this or the Kate Somerville Eradicate. Now, it depends on the type of pimple. Like this one, you can see here on my forehead, it's a deep pimple. It hasn't risen to the surface yet. So I'm gonna use this because it has retinol and salicylic acid, and so it penetrates deep into the skin. This one is a clay and sulfur treatment, so I like it for pimples that are more close to the surface. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and then and just dab it right there on top of that pimple. And then I'll dab it on any other little one that might need a little help. And then that's it. I like to apply a little bit of a thick layer, but it dries down and gets absorbed. And this stuff works really, really well. So yeah, that is finally it. <laughs> I know that it seems like a lot, but for me, it's an automatic thing at this point. Once you get into a routine, it just, it's all automatic. It's like brushing my teeth for me. I do it automatically. I don't have to think about it. With my skincare, it's the same thing. I'm used to doing it every day and I just treat it like brushing my teeth. It's something that I have to do before bed and so I just do it and I don't really think about it. I know that the hardest part about a skincare routine is keeping the routine, but if you treat it as brushing your teeth, if you treat it as part of going to bed, then it just kind of becomes natural. So that's the way I like to tackle it. That's the way I like to view it. Hopefully this video has helped in some way, maybe in learning a few tips and tricks or in product recommendations. Please let me know what you thought down below. But that's it. And you can see just how squeaky clean and glowy my skin is. This is how I go to sleep every night. I try to look like a little oil slick. That's the goal. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this process. Let me know if you guys want to see an acne specific video because it was a journey, let me tell you, to get my skin to where it is right now. And I've got a few breakouts here and there because it's that time of the month, you know. And with the added dryness, my skin is just going through it right now, but these products have definitely helped to keep any breakouts at bay. So just let me know if you'd like to see more skincare content. I know that I don't do that a lot here on the channel. So just let me know if that's something you're interested in. Once again, huge, huge thank you to Herbivore for sponsoring a part of this video. They're a brand that I genuinely really, really love. And so I really appreciate them wanting to work with me. Hopefully you liked seeing some of their products. As I said, if you don't follow me on TikTok, go right now, go follow me 
on there because you'll get to see their products really, really close up. I did one of those really aesthetically pleasing close up videos of their products. So you get to see all the beautiful textures and everything. That's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's the next day. I just woke up. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you my skin after all that skincare. You can see the pimple on my forehead has definitely gone down and I haven't woken up with any dry patches. My skin feels good. It doesn't feel oily at all. And you can see some of the dark spots have cleared up and that's thanks to the acids in the Prism Serum and probably the mask that I did as well since it was a resurfacing mask. And you can see that my eyes are a little puffy. See what I talked about? about how they're a little puffy when I wake up after I do makeup. So now is the time to grab my little jade roller and then I just go, oh, that feels so good. Because this just kind of stays perpetually cold. You don't even have to put it in the fridge or anything. It just kind of is naturally cold and oh man, just doing this for a few minutes really helps to bring down the puffiness. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> But anywho, now I'm going to do my morning face routine and that is a much more simplified version. When I don't have to take off makeup, I like to keep it simple, but I still like to do something. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I just wanted to show you the next day because a lot of you might be thinking like, whoa, that was a lot of products, there's oil on there, aren't you gonna wake up like a grease ball? And no. You can see my skin has absorbed everything. I'm not super shiny and oily anymore. Even in my oily areas, I didn't wake up super oily or greasy. Everything's just kind of like evened out. My skin looks nice. My pimples have gone down, which you wouldn't think would happen after wearing a ton of heavy makeup. But if you treat your skin right after a heavy makeup application, then you won't break out. You'll even be able to begin the healing process to some pimples. So it's all about just knowing what to do. You don't have to be scared of breaking out when you do heavy makeup. I I'm going to keep doing this for a while. So thanks for watching. <laughs>